Hi guys, it's Nigel at Lock and Key Independent Estate Agents. Um, I hope you've had a great bank holiday weekend and we're starting um, the week off uh, with this property in behind me. It's a magnificent, impressive, five bedroom detached property. Uh, a lot of square footage in this property with the benefit of that double garage there and parking for, for ample vehicles as well, four, five, six vehicles if you like. It's an amazing property built by Charles Church actually um, in a quiet cul-de-sac called Cold Finch Road. Um, and inside the property, um, you're going to have your hallways loose, you're going to have your useful study. There's a dual aspect living room, beautiful extended kitchen, um, family room at the rear. There's a utility as one would expect. Then on the next floor, you've got three bedrooms, the master bedrooms en suite, lovely landing areas. There's two other bedrooms. And then on the next floor, you've got two other double bedrooms and a Jack and Jill bathroom. Of course, it's double glazed and gas, but it's the size of the property. This is a family home for people that want space, that people want you know, a nice location and all that parking there with a double garage. Like I said, it's built by uh, Charles Church to their Skipton design. And actually up here on Manor Park, they only built, I think, five of them. They stopped building them because there was so much space, I think. Uh, but there's only five of them actually built um, back in the day. It was probably about 14 years ago. So what we're going to do with all my tours, you know I'm going to spin this camera around, talk about the amenities. Uh, the sun is in my eyes, I've got no um, coat on today. It's an absolutely beautiful Tuesday morning. And then we're going to go in to have a look at this skipped and designed by Charles Church. But it's a beautiful property. So let's turn this camera around and get stuck in. And there we have those lovely elevations there. Little side access there. The main side access is here. You can see those two vehicles, double garage, another vehicle, another vehicle. You could even put another vehicle there. Like I said, it was built uh, by Charles Church, only five of them to their Skipton design. Lovely way to start off uh, the first day back from a bank holiday and what wonderful weather as well. As I turn this around, you can see there's other properties uh, similar to this. They're all detached down here. It ends up down here by the balancing pond. There's a green area. Over there, you've got the football and rugby club. You've got the highly thought of Forest and Sandridge School. There's little cut throughs, countryside walks, Clackers Brook, nature reserves great for dog walking or just being on the side and really this is the eastern side of Melksham. Now on the eastern side of course you can go up to Sandridge Common, you can head towards Bromham if you like the pub up there, there's two pubs in Bromham, um, there's a butcher's up there that leads you to Devizes or you can get around the Bowood Estate, you can get to Carn or Chippenham and of course if you wanted to just walk along to the school it's not far from Forest and Sandridge School, the Oak School as well and look I'm a fit lad, you could probably get into town uh, well, I could get into town in about 15 minutes. Melksham with its train station, that takes you to Chippenham. You've got good road links from the A350. Um, you can get along to five miles north of here to Laycock. It's a stunning village. There's lots of attractions and places to go in Melksham because we're surrounded by six other towns. This one is very impressive. Uh, usually you have um, properties when they're built, something lacking. There is nothing lacking with this property, either in the kitchen areas, the bedroom areas, the parking areas. It's a fabulous skipped and designed this by Charles Church so what we're going to do is go through that door and take a good look around for you and here we go I'm just going to walk up a little bit further so you can just see this parking as well just to get a bit closer because you can see the two vehicles there put another two there and I think with modern developments that's the one thing I always uh, find that people want they like the properties but sometimes they just lack that extra bit of parking we well, don't get that here let's go through this door Let's take you around this property in Goldfinch Road. I'm just going to close the door behind me because all, with all my tours, you're going to see me spin the camera around. That's that front door. Door to the living room, nice flooring. Bring it back again. A little under stairs, storage cupboard. These stairs turn to a very spacious landing. The loo's going to be in there, study in there, and the kitchen is in there as well. Just want to make sure this door's closed properly. Give you a different angle again of this hallway. You can see the space. Let's open up this door. That just takes you into the loo. Flooring continues. Low level WC and Warsham basin. A little obscure um, double glazed window just bringing in natural light and the radiator. Little area there for freestanding. Let's close this up again. Let's follow this camera around to the useful study. And it's great because it genuinely is a useful study. It's built with that as well. You could have it as a dining room if you wanted to. You could have it as a playroom. But it's a great office. You can see they've got two desk areas here, a little freestanding area there, double glazed window, another double glazed window just bringing in natural light. 
The deco of this property is superb. It's truly immaculate. When I say truly immaculate, you guys know that when I say it's on the tin, I mean it's on the tin. It's a really, really very well presented home. And there's just tons of space. That goes up, comes out from the study, office, whatever you want to call it, and into this dual aspect living room. Decent size, you can see there's natural light coming through, there's some blinds there, but plenty of area for sofa suites. The flooring just continues, as you can just see, all the way along the hallway. Area there for your TV, you can put TVs in corners, people are all different, but there's plenty of room nonetheless. Great reception room, this, just turn this camera around, and there you can see that other angle from when we came in just off the hallway there. Again, a window to the front, radiator, and it's a big enough room here. It's a family living room. One more look over this side, and that's the living room for you guys. Come back through the hallway. Remember the door we came in, Lou, understairs, storage cupboard, and those stairs going into the first floor landing, and then it opens up again into an absolutely stunning extended kitchen family room. Now, it is going to have all the, the mod cons. It's going to have its double ovens and microwave and dishwashers that are all integrated into units. Little power sockets in there in that central island. Five ring gas oven, you know, the, ex, the extractor fan all over, over it. Um, eye level cupboards, base units, which will come. And then that flooring just continues. And what a beautiful room this opens it up to. This, is bit, this bit was extended about three or four years ago. And they put this beautiful pitch bringing in natural light again. It's just another extension to this property. And into the garden a bit, but the garden apexes along. Lovely, nice um, bifold doors, windows that open up into natural light. Let's just show you that pitch again from there. And then you've got these built-in cupboards again, giving you more areas, little seating area as well. There's that garden, the sun's coming in at the moment. The time at the moment is about 11 o'clock. And they get the garden different times of the day as well. Bring the camera around around again and it's just a wonderful example of a big family room and this is one of the other requests apart from parking people want big family rooms now or kitchens this is where you're going to do most of the entertaining this is if you've got a family and you've got to spend time with the kids doing their homework we want to chill out over this side of the property to the rear garden it's just simply stunning bring it around again let's have a look at this angle and you really get to see the impressive kitchen that these guys have got. As I mentioned, the flooring's continued, little chiller in there for your wine. If it ever stays in your house long enough, doesn't in mine. And again, that extension there, amazing. And the workmanship that goes into it. Radiator with concealed covering. Radiator in there and the utility. Washing machine plumbed in. Little shelving in there, door to the rear. Just another little room to use. And of course you're back in to this lovely, beautiful kitchen. Let's have a little recap of the downstairs and then we're gonna head on to that first floor. And just a recap, utility, door, side access that way, side access that way to the garage. So side access on both sides of the property. Obviously this is the Piesta de la Resistance. It's a beautiful extended kitchen with everything that you could imagine you want. It's got a tick in everything, in my opinion. Uh, for a kitchen family room, really, really spacious. The square footage of this property, you know, it's in its thousands, over two and a bit thousand square foot, and I'll give you that in the description. Come back out to this spacious hallway. Little recap here. Of course, useful study, dining room, family room, whatever you want to call it. Lou is in there. Door coming through, spacious areas. Skip and design, only five built. Plenty of parking, and there's your living room. Let's pop upstairs and have a look at that first floor. Promise we're just back into the hallway. We can climb these stairs. Now again, the reason why these are built with, as the skipped in design, there were only a few. They really were for that executive move with a need for family space and hallway space, landing space. It does have everything. I'm not just saying it for the sake of it. You'll see the floor plan and the square footage as well. I'm in this property. And I know many of these I've sold over the years and there's very few of these that ever do come on the market. Now, of course, you've got a bedroom there, bedroom there, the landing goes up to there. And then you've got another bedroom there, which is your main bedroom. Um, apart from this bedroom as well, obviously the bathroom in here, this is probably the smallest bedroom out of the five. And it is the smallest bedroom of the five. So there's some um, freestanding wardrobes in there. So it's a little bit bigger than it looks, but it's, you know, a decent size bedroom nonetheless. 
nice uh, front elevation there. There's some little views over the balancing pond over there. Radiator, but this is bedroom five, we'll call it, because we'll number it as in terms of size for that one. The others are quite even, but look at all that landing area. You could put a little desk in here, actually. You could even have a, another little area or sofa if you want to, um, just to kick back. Next bedroom, again, bigger, and they just get bigger from here. Double bed, you could put freestanding either side. You've got some areas there. You can put some furniture, double glazed window to the rear elevation and radiator. And this just comes back a bit as well from there. Bring the camera around so you can see different angles of this room. Pretty decent double bedroom this. And believe me, they do get bigger. It's an impressive house. The reason why these people are moving, they've been here a number of years, purely lifestyle. They absolutely adore their property. And I think these guys are great with what they've done with the outside and that kitchen. Come back through into here. And of course, this is the family bathroom. You're gonna have a shower in there. Low level WC and wash and basin. The obscure double glazed window just brings in natural light. Panel bath, radiator, but not a bad size room. Just bring this camera around again. Obviously you've got your ensuite, I don't know, ensuite shower in there. Shower door, shower screen. Good size family bathroom. And remember there's more bathrooms with this. We come back into this spacious landing area. This is the first floor. Light class, this is the main bedroom. Lovely double glazed windows bringing in natural light. You've got these two built in fitted wardrobes that just were built into that recess there. Large bed, freestanding either size, as you can see. Little area there for your TV and freestanding. I just like the way they've built into this. And it's a decent size, this, uh, this bedroom. If I come over here, you can see it's not so bad, is it? And of course, this is what people want the size, the bedrooms, parking, everything, location. Again, come through here, another ensuite. Not another ensuite, but the ensuite, shower screen, shower in there. And again, obscure double glazed, double glazed window to the rear, pedestal wash and basin, and the low level WC. There's a radiator running there, a little extractor fan. Just behind the door, come back through, and we're into this impressive bedroom again. Fabulous. I'm just going to come around here for you so you can have every angle of every room that we like to show. We like to be very deliberate, take our time. There is no rush when we take properties on. We like to, we're trying to connect people to properties all the time, which is why we do these tours and we get a lot of compliments. It's not a rush job for me. It's a labor of love, but you know, I love what I do. Really, really um, cool room this. So of course on this first floor, just to recap, you know the en suites in there, you know this is a big bedroom. That's the smallest of the five, double in there. Lovely landing areas here, and then the bathroom is there. What we're gonna do is go to the next level, see those two bedrooms and the Jack and Jill. As promised, we're just gonna go around to this landing area and we're gonna go up to the second floor as it turns around. And remember, there's a common theme here because Charles Church built them this way. The landing areas are spacious. You can see they've built this into the recess, into that area there, which is good because you've got more cupboard space, which means you don't have to then have cupboards into the bedrooms if you don't want to, because of that head space, which is a bit restricted on either side. Access to loft space. That I'll show you in a minute, because that's the Jack and Jill. But if I come this way, look at the size of this bedroom. It's a really, it's just a big double look guys. Every bedroom's big, every room in here is big. It's tremendous. Bed, plenty of areas here, lovely little dormer window. There's some, even some views over there which can take you to that balancing pond. Anybody who knows when Charles Church built them, they had a bit more space around here, which is cool. This one's just got all that parking. But what an impressive bedroom. And like I said, from that fifth bedroom, which was the smallest, all the others are like this. Pretty cool indeed. Now we come through and it's shared. Jack and Jill, little WC wash and basin, window there. And in here, shower cubicle. And the cool thing is this, that this door opens. So remember that door opens, you can lock it. You can lock both of these on either side. And look at that bedroom. <laughs> it's just the, uh, the awesome space with this. There are a lot of modern properties you see, which which are pretty big in this price range. But what this one shows is that, 
love that little location over there but this one really does tick the boxes you know it does have everything that somebody wants it does have that bedroom space i know i've reiterated it but you've got to because um you're not going to see many of these on the market in these developments with this space and if you want these developments and you're looking for an extra uh, bedroom or two or parking to then this one's perfect but i'm just going to go back into this bedroom so you can just appreciate these two bedrooms up here and that jack and jill all we've got to do now is get outside have a look at that rear garden and talk about the double garage now as promised we're back down to the ground floor now i'm going to walk through the uh hallway beautiful kitchen i want to show you that again so i'm going to go through that utility door lovely kitchen utility and let's get out into the, the rear of the property. Now you can see that they've already spent a chunk of money on this lovely, beautiful, attractive little paving there. Uh, there's a little side gate, little path that goes along there. So they do have access on both sides. And then it just apexes up there. Little seating areas. Again, it's paved. You've got bordered there with some borders, shrubs, enclosed by timber fencing. Double garage is there. So you've got all of that up and over doors. Plenty of parking. Look at that. All this paving continues. There's the side gate. Of course, as you know, that goes into that kitchen again. These doors open. And then this is what you have. So it comes around the garden. You could grass it if you wanted to. But they spent a lot of money on this. This isn't something they didn't need to do. There is a little astro turf area there. And it just means it's easy to maintain. Perfect. Lovely, attractive areas up here let's walk to the apex of this garden turn this camera around then you can just see that quality extension there as well and the sun now is above our head so again it's gone 11 o'clock but you can see that this sun will come a, come across this way and you're gonna have a lot of sunshine at different points I'd imagine in this garden uh, especially as summer's coming as well love that extension remember that was done about three or four years ago and when you have a look at the floor plan, guys, when you are interested, you'll see the square footage. I just can't remember it offhand, but it's huge. And there we have the rear of the garden. Just to let you know again, side access that way, go into the front, and then access that way. That takes you to the front there. Parking for, there's two cars there already. You can put another two cars. Let's say you've got a minimum of to uh, four cars i'm sure you can have more in there but we're not trying to show off too much with that it's got ample parking and to summarize this this is a beautiful example of a skipton design built by charles church it's got a lot of square footage not space so it's going to be a family home anybody looking for that extra bit in a family home with the parking and the, and the location this is perfect for you it's it's a real really real delight for me to have this on our books today so it will go on today for everybody and if you've got any questions give me a call it's nigel at lock and keen Penn estate agents on 01225 707342 i hope you've really enjoyed the tour and i look forward to hearing from you